Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to continue with CPU coolers and we have something really huge. Uh, this is Deepcool's Assassin 3 CPU cooler with 280 watts TDP. We have overclocking compatibilities, uh, seven heat pipes running through the uh, heat sink. We have the copper base, nickel plated, FDB bearing on the fans, PWM controllable, uh, low noise so you don't hear the fans while they're cooling the uh, heat sink. When it comes to installation, they say it's four step, very easy installation, but we're going to get to that part as well. And you have all the tools included already inside the box. So basically they already got me at the part with four steps of uh, quick installation. Uh, usually before the CPU tower coolers was a nightmare to install on any kind of case, in any kind of case, on any kind of motherboard, so there wasn't any difference. But today I do have to say that they did manage to do a really easy installation on all, almost all CPU tower coolers. So when you open the box, you get first the accessory box, you get, oh wow, loads of thermal paste as I can see, grease cleaner, and this is... Uh, thermal paste uh, spreader, you get the AMD mounting plates, you get the Intel and AMD screws, you get two LSPs, uh, low speed adapters, you have a splitter as well, so you can manage that as you wish, you have actually six brackets for your fans, installation guide, Intel 20XX socket mounting plates and screws and backplate for AMD and Intel sockets which are basically 115X because you don't need for 20XX or 2011, 2066 because they already have everything and you get uh, badge and stickers of GamerStorm as well so okay we have everything here from the accessory box now let's go to the fan and basically I was correct, let's go to the fan, we have the first fan right here, let's check it out, this is it, this is the TF140S with 4 pin PWM connection, let's check this out, okay we have more packaging content and we have one more fan, I think this one is the same as the last one because usually when it comes to CPU coolers some tend to make a uh, different size just for RAM compatibility or case compatibility or height compatibility for cases and that kind of stuff but here we have the same one, this is again TF140S with 4 pin PWM connection and this is it guys, I mean this one is huge, let me just check something, oh and as I said you get tools already included, we'll get to the cooler very quickly, oh man this is, this is really cool, you get a magnetic screwdriver with a longer handle which is really handy because usually with smaller handles it's sometimes hard to twist the screw uh, tight as it should be so and it even has a gamer storm logo so this is really cool and really handy uh, let's unpack it here we have it guys copper base seven heat pipes going through the complete cooler and here at the top you have a really stylish design when we take into consideration uh, other nickel plated designs they don't look this good and when removing this plastic foil on the top you can see that the nickel plated top really looks shiny and nice and with the uh, black addition it looks really cool. So we're going to place it in, run some tests on some games and of course heavy loader just to see uh, the temperature on full load after loads of minutes because I really like to do uh, tests on a longer time period because people tend to use it for overclocking or rendering videos which does consist of more load on the processor especially rendering which goes up to 100% on the CPU load on constant period of time when you render a video so let's place it on uh, Intel Core i9-9900KF in of course Deepcool McCube 310 and get some temperatures results Testing out the Assassin 3 from Deep Cool turned out something like this. 
first of all the Macube 310 basically can't fit uh, Assassin 3 and the thing is 110 is sticking out because of the RAMs so basically that's the only issue otherwise it will fit perfectly just by a millimeter so yeah it's perfect in that uh, way. I even removed the RGB RAMs to get a lower RAM profile but it still uh, wouldn't fit since the couple of what uh, let me just check I think it's one centimeter of height maybe uh, seven to eight millimeters to be precise but nevertheless I placed the tempered glass here and hold it for 35 minutes just to get an approximate temperature so heavy loader I did play PUBG but in 35 percent on load we got like 45 to 50 Celsius degrees and in heavy loader after 35 minutes uh, I got 64 Celsius degrees cooling i9 9900KF so I would say that is pretty decent but you do need to take into consideration that this case is too small for the Assassin 3 you do need either very low profile RAMs or you do need a wider case and that's a fact so basically that's all there is to it. You've seen the temperatures, it does cool really nicely and apart from the fan sticking out, otherwise you do need to have a thicker case, 280 watts TDP, was there else to say? One thing I do have to mention, I didn't place any fans as an exhaust, so the only airflow going through the case was from the front to the back. Yeah, basically that's it. So it kind of did hold a decent temperature that's all there is to it check the links below for the deep cool assassin 3 and if you wish you could check out the macube 310 not in the same combination because you'll have problem closing the tempered glass but maybe you have a smaller cooler that will actually fit or the castle 240 x rgb in white just to fit the white color scheme of the macube case uh yeah guys that's all there is to it thank you for watching and see you in another one bye bye